Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for May 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. And then we'll take a look at someone that is uh, perhaps new coming into your life. Or it could be someone in the future that's coming in. So uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at and see what you need to know about this person. Uh, what to look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So tell me about uh, Capricorn in love. What's going on with Capricorn in love? What's going on with Capricorn in love for May 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Seems like you overcame like a really painful, hurtful situation that you went through here. You know, I feel like you overcome like the hurt, the pain, the grief. And I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles here, you know, I do feel like you're looking back at th this situation or maybe these, situ these situations learning a lot from them. And I feel like you freed yourself from it. And I feel like you're doing really well on your own right now, Capricorn, with the Nine of Pentacles being here, okay? Um, the chariot, cancer energy. Six of wands, uh, not that six of wands, nine of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You are definitely looking for a romance. Yeah, with the chariot, you definitely overcame some sort of difficult time with that three of swords there. Let's see, we have the eight of swords and the nine of cups. I mean, Someone here could be pursuing you here. Someone new, whoever this is, someone that cannot stop thinking about you. They're seeing you as their wish fulfillment. Yeah, this is an individual that can't stop thinking about you. Hopefully this is not past energy, but we're going to pull some more cards just to see what's going on here. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Three of Swords and Eight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles here, and the Lovers. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like there was a painful situation here where you dealt with a lot of grief here that you left behind, okay? There is someone here that could be present in your life right now that you're dealing with that you have a strong soul connection here with, a soulmate connection. The lovers, Gemini energy, tell me about the chariot here. We have a page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the knight of cups, and the two of swords. Why is a two of swords here? You could be dealing with someone here that's not quite sure what they're looking for, what they want. Okay, this this person has a lot of options here. This person has a lot of options here. But also they see you very highly here though, uh, Capricorn. Yeah, they see you very highly here. Tell me about the ace of, eight of swords here. I'm with the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the nine of cups here, and the four of swords. Okay, you know the options that this person is dealing with here? I, I think it's a was. Yeah, it, it, it was was. Because I feel like at some point, this person was confused. Yeah, this person was confused. And now I feel like they might be getting some sort of clarity here. And they're falling in love with you. And they can't stop thinking about you here. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Cups, Cancer, uh, and the Four of Swords. Uh, what else do we have here for... Capricorn. Tell me about the new person, new love that Capricorn is dealing with here or will deal with. What does Capricorn need to know about this individual? For May 2022, May 2022, May 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, yeah, maybe in 2022 you had a hard situation here uh, with a breakup. Yeah. Um, 
Six of Cups being the Magician, Gemini Virgo, we have the Emperor in the Five of Cups. It seems like something here is trying to come back around here too. Seven of Pentacles and a King, uh, Queen of Swords. Okay, this is someone that you don't want to talk to anymore. Uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This King of Cups is a new person. This is an old person, the Emperor here in the Five of Cups, because uh, for some reason here, this person has regrets. Yeah, this person has regrets here. The Emperor Aries energy. Perhaps this person was behaving like a page. Yeah, it seems like whoever this is, the past is trying to manifest you back. Yeah, the past is trying to manifest you back, but you're not wasting time with this individual anymore. Okay, so the Magician Gemini Virgo, the Emperor Aries energy, Queen of Swords, Libra Aquarius Gemini. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? We have the world, the magician, and the ten of pentacles. Someone here is trying to manifest you back. Whoever this is, this is an individual that has unfinished business here with you. This emperor is tied to this page. Page of wands. Yeah, this person is trying to come back around. Let's see. The emperor, the fool, Aries energy. Could, could have dealt with the Aries in the past here. And oh, we have the Emperor and the Empress. Libra Taurus, this is a past life soulmate where in the past, this Emperor was in its low vibrational state. This person was non-committal. Now they want to commit to you, but you're not wasting your time on this old person. You're just focusing on the new here. Yeah, because it seems like you met a new soulmate. Uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, uh, this past person might be a twin flame. Perhaps. It doesn't have to be, but you might have had a strong soul connection with this individual and they want to sneak back into your life. They want to come in with an apology here. But I feel like, yeah, you're just focusing on the new here, Capricorn. You're, yeah, you're just focusing on the new. You see? Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, this is this is a situation where you learned your lessons from this individual. Yeah, this is something that you don't want to go back to. Okay, so Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.